Hey guys, Patrick here. We've had a lot of questions on how to get to the first chest in the raid, and it's very difficult to describe because there are multiple locations. So, without further ado, let's get to it. To start off the raid, have everyone stand on this little center plate here. I'm doing it solo just to make it easier to illustrate. Once you stand on here for a while, the bridge will form. Run to the end of it and jump down. Now once you land at the bottom here, it's going to be very dark and difficult to see. All the chests are going to be in little side rooms on the left hand side. So the easiest way to do this is, as a group, move along the left hand side of this entire area. I'm going to be showing you each door that I could at least get to in this one run. The idea is you're just going to keep going to each one and checking to see if the chest is there. Usually it's at the second chest. That's been, it's been there about 75% of the time for us in the four times that I've done this. Now this first chest is different from the Vault of Glass first chest. It has a chance to actually contain exotics and other things like that. I hope this clears up some of the stuff for you guys. Keep watching, you should see all the locations in the video. I die here, but there should be one or two more beyond where I uh, got to in the video. It's just difficult to get there solo. What's going on guys, Wally here with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you briefly how to get the second chest in the quotas and raid. So basically after the bridge fight, after you construct the bridges, get past gatekeepers, there's going to be a main door that opens up for you that you have to pass. Basically once that door opens you are on a timer for the door in the back to close. Now the best way to get this done of course is to set up your group appropriately so you can get to this back chest just before the hole to drop in to the circle to fight the next boss. But essentially, what you need to do is set up your group appropriately. So what we do generally in our setup is we have two people as our quote-unquote runners. These individuals are just going to run past all the thralls, try to avoid the shrieker bombs, and do whatever they can to get up to the chest as quick as they can. We recommend uh, blade dancers are incredibly effective. Of course, anyone with an agility upgrade, the murmur is useful. Mida multi-tool is also incredibly useful to use as a primary because it allows you to run faster. But basically, we have two runners set up. And we have two individuals on shrieker duty. These individuals generally equip a rocket launcher and all they're doing is trying to get the two shriekers down because if you do not get the shriekers down, you will not be able to progress. Your runners will not be able to go forward because there is some sort of invisible wall just after each shrieker that prevents you from moving forward. So you have to get those shrieker. And then finally, we have the last two people on thrall duty. We just equip them with LMGs or whatever so that the guys shooting the shriekers undoubtedly don't die. That is the best way to do it. It may take you a couple times, but it is another chance at a chest here. And from what I understand, the chest will drop radiant energy, radiant shards, and if there is a potential for an exotic as well. So keep that in mind. Definitely something very cool. But that is a great way and a good strategy to get the second chest. Good luck.